Hey guys, we have a, a video today on the order of operations and uh, basically this will be our first lesson video of the year so I will, um, more than just lesson itself, I'll talk about my expectations of you. Okay, so um, our lesson will be on uh, order of operations and simplifying expressions. And order of operations you guys uh, probably already know a little bit something about. In fact, I'm uh, fairly certain you guys all know uh, PEMDAS parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And I think you guys uh, uh, know that from other other classes. And a lot of you guys, though, make a mistake. And you think it's you go strictly uh, left to right without anything else. But, I, but I'm here to say uh, make sure we go parentheses, exponents, and then it's multiplication or division, whatever you encounter first going left to right. And then addition or subtraction, whatever you encounter going left to right. So I always like to group it this way. I think of it as, as um, PE, and then the DM is all as one group, and the SA is one group. So division and multiplication are uh, uh, equally as important, just like subtraction and addition is equally important. Whatever you come across uh, first going left to right. So um, uh, our textbook definition for order of operation is the first thing we do, um, that P parentheses really is uh, grouping symbols. And when I say grouping symbols, it's not just parentheses. Other types of grouping symbols are things like square root signs. These are also, this is called a radical sign. And we do everything that's in here first. We could all, oops, I'm sorry. Um, we could also have absolute value signs, and that means if there's an expression inside, inside here, we would do whatever's in here first. But also things like fraction bars. So if we had a fraction bar, and we had an expression up here, expression, and an expression down here, we would want to apply uh, the order of operations to those expressions first before we actually dealt with the fraction bar and the division that it implies. Okay, the next thing we would deal with um, uh, evaluating powers, and that's the E, that's the exponents, and that's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, next, we want to perform multiplication and division from left to right, only I don't really like the way that they have it in the book, and division from left to right. I I'd rather say uh, multiplication or division, whatever you encounter first, going left to right. The same thing uh, when we talk about our last step is adding and subtracting. It is adding or subtracting, but I'd rather you just, um, uh, to avoid errors, is as you go left to right, you can add or subtract, well, wh whichever one comes first going left to right. Okay, uh, so let's try some problems. What I would like from you guys is this. Please uh, format, uh, you're gonna format a paper in a box eight. I'm showing you my nice box eight up here. And you're gonna number uh, your boxes one, two, three, four, and so forth five, six, seven, and eight. And this is how we'll uh, format our homework very frequently. Okay, and what uh, we're gonna do is, in the video, I'm gonna go through uh, the first four problems, and then the last four problems will be on your own. So I do expect the work from all four of those. Okay, so here's what I mean. Here's our first problem. What I'd like you to do is pause this and try to do it on your own. Then I'll come back uh, and do it and you can see how you did. Okay, so go ahead and pause it. Okay, so now we're gonna do it. Okay, again, PEMDAS, we wanna look at this and uh, one of the things I noticed uh, first is there's no grouping symbols like division signs or anything like, or uh, square root signs, parentheses, nothing. So the next thing I would go to is exponents, which I noticed that there's an exponent right here. And I want to go ahead and evaluate that. 4 raised to the second power, of course, is 16. Okay, so we're done with powers, and now we're on to multiplication or division, whatever happens left to right. And basically what I would do is i just go along like this, and booyah, right there. So I know my next operation is 24 divided by 3. That'll give me 8, so I bring this down, rewrite everything again. Now as I go across, ah, look, I have a multiplication. Okay, now I'm done with all my operations that, in, uh, that include multiplication and division. 
Finally, it's adding or subtracting from left to right. And, and you can just go straight across like that if you like. It's easy enough. 7 minus 16 is negative 9. And then negative 9 plus 16 is a negative 7. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead and pause and give this one a try? Okay, uh, the first thing I notice is that um, I have uh, absolute value signs, so the, I'm going to deal with what's in here first. And when I look in here, I notice that I have an exponent, so I'm going to go ahead and take 5 and raise it to the second power. Uh, now, again, working inside my grouping symbols, 10 minus 25 is negative 15. Now the absolute value of negative 15 is always positive, so it's a positive 15, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay. Uh, let's try the next one, number 3. Give it a shot. Okay. Uh, again, now here we have lots of parentheses, and this is called a bracket right here, and that just means do whatever's in here, and then in here it says do whatever's in here. And, the first thing we want to do is look for the parentheses at the farthest inside. Okay, so the grouping symbols at the very inside. So the first thing we're going to do is 3 minus 7, which gives me a negative 4. Notice I keep that parentheses around that negative 4. Now I have an exponent here. I'm raising negative 4 to the second power. And I get 16. Now, inside here, inside that bracket, here I hit now have a multiplication, 2 times 16. And now that's all done. Now I can go out and the next thing is multiplication, 3 times 32. And my final thing is my subtraction. Okay, our last problem, why don't you give this a shot? Okay, wow, lots of stuff. So there's a couple different places I can go. The first thing I'm going to do is this in here, inside this grouping symbol, 3 squared is 9 plus 16. Square root of 25, well, I can go ahead from there, 5. Now I'm going to go to here. I have a negative 3 raised to the third power. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is a negative 27. And now I still have this. I have a 5 minus a negative 27 is a positive 32. Okay, so what I need from you guys is you take care of the next four problems on your own, and I'll be checking all eight problems tomorrow for homework. Don't forget your tickets, and we'll see you tomorrow.